on a dusty back road. Eddie Miner, the head of the charity Kenya Society for the Mentally Handicapped, is on an investigation. Okay, just come and show us where he is. This is what she finds behind a latched door. Uh. Abali. Thomas Matoke, tied to a steel bed, surrounded by pools of his urine. He's been in prison like this for 30 years. His mother has had no choice. His siblings ask whether we've wronged God because we're really suffering. I can't even hang clothes outside. The neighbors tell me to remove them because they stink. He can't sit with other children. They run from the house because they say he'll beat them, that he's mad. I tried to tell them no, but I came to realize that because they have never seen hardship, that is why they behave as they do. Angry and fearful neighbors have chased the family from village to village. Thomas's parents say despite scores of visits to doctors and hospitals, they got no help. Though I try to be strong, strength fails me completely. I'm tired of that burden. It's not a light burden. She tries simple things to ease his agony, like giving him a bottle cap to play with, or tying him to a tree when the weather is good. The mother has the right to live like any other mother. She's trying to say that by looking for help everywhere. Now Thomas is over 30 years old, and that's why she's expressing her being desperate and giving up and wondering when help can ever come. For how long will I carry this burden? Since I got married, I have never had joy the way other people have joy. I also feel that I should have been given a lighter burden. I have tried to encourage myself and think, God, help me, because I've carried this burden for a long time. All Milka can do is tether Thomas back in his cell.